So I'll have two points that I'd like to say about how to save um, the market economy. I think free markets are of great merit. They are, so free market mechanisms are incredibly efficient ways to allocate scarce resources under certain conditions. And among others, the conditions that we need is that there are multiple players, and that is both on the demand and the supply side, and that we don't have one player that is so powerful that it can dominate the market. And again, both on the demand and the supply side. You don't want to have one single consumer to dictate the price, just as much you don't want to have one single firm to dictate the price. Now, who looks after competition? We have the guardians of, the of competitive markets, and these are the competition authorities. Now, competition authorities have historically a lot of experience and knowledge when it comes to product markets. Now, today, we've already been talking about some of the challenges ahead in this area. Think about, um, we have heard also about um, killer acquisitions and, and that these often fly under the radar um, of, of competition authorities when, when a big firm like, like Facebook buys a startup or something like that. But I think these are challenges that everybody is, is aware of, but where the authorities, the regulator, does have um, a toolkit that they're used to using. It's very different when we talk about labor markets, and there's more and more concern about market power in labor markets, where we're not talking about monopolies, but monopsonies. And I think there, um, the issue is that the authorities are much less used to, to even operate in this market, to even regulate this market. Again, for historical reasons, I think we're going to hear much more about this um, from Eric Posner. But I also think that going forward in the future, this will be part um, of where we're going to see more activity um, from the competition authorities, also because this, I mean, this is a hot topic uh, among the competition authorities. The, my impression is that nobody is so sure yet about how to tackle um, these issues. But of course, it's of huge importance when we talk about inequality because market power in labor markets can mean that wages are compressed and this is particularly problematic when, we, when wages of those at the lower end of the distribution um, are, are compressed. The other thing that concerns me is the new relationship that the government, the, between the government and, and the private sector. We have more and more, we have these issues of too big to fail. We got used to this term in the financial crisis, but now we're hearing it when it comes to, to energy suppliers. You could also think of situations where a vaccine producer would be too big to fail just because that player is too important from a societal point of view that letting such a firm go bankrupt has huge social costs. I think this is a problem. We should not even have a situation where we get such large players to begin with because what we do then, when we bail them out, what we do is we socialize the losses of these firms, but the gains of these firms were private. And you can ask yourself how sustainable that is for the government. But there are also, again, concerns about fairness and inequality because we are, when we do this, we redistribute government money to very big, powerful players. It's not typically the groups towards whom you would redistribute money. Again, it comes from the systemic point of view that these players are just too important to let them down. Now, if this is this new relationship you want to have between the private sector and the government, from a financial point of view, the question is how sustainable is this? I think if we want to do this, if we want to ensure entrepreneurial risk and use the government as this super insurer, we need to change the rules of the game. Because that would mean we would need very progressive taxation to skim the profits in the good times, right? Um, because there's the question, how, otherwise, how do you finance this? And the nice thing is also, I mean, now um, we're, we're hearing discussions about excess profit, taxes, ex post. Um, this is very problematic from a legal point of view. If you have very progressive taxation, 
this, you get rid of this discussion because basically progressive tax will collect, um, will collect more from these, from these large revenues that, that you may um, create. And the firms know the tax code ex ante, so, so you don't create this, this legal insecurity. Thank you.